The area around Roger Williams University has been the home of the Poconoket people for thousands of years. Here in Consumset, they found beautiful waters and abundant land. The Poconoket tribe was actually the headship tribe of what you know today as the Wampanoag Nation. But when the English came to this country, this whole of southeastern Massachusetts and parts of Rhode Island was known as Poconoke Country or the Poconoke Nation, later King Philip Country. It was during the King Philip War, 1675-1676, that the colonial government outlawed the word Poconoke. And if you were male 14 years of age or older, and you said you were Poconoke, they could kill you on sight. And they would kill you on sight. So Poconoke is a name that is not readily recognized. But any map prior to the King Philip War, and that's the uh, John Sellers map, who was the map maker to the uh, King of England, uh, Gorkin's map of that period, uh, the Smithsonian's map of Northeastern uh, Indians handbook, uh, they all state right on it, Poconoke country or King Philip country. So Poconoke is who we are. Our, our territories, uh, we went uh, all the way up to New York uh, State. Uh, the Scattercook Falls, which is uh, this side of the Hudson River. And this is where King Philip was during the uh, winter campaign of the King Philip War with, uh, with uh, uh, Kanachit, who was uh, chief of the Narragansetts. So, Batumtuk uh, is, is one of the sites, one of our spiritual high grounds. A lot of spiritual uh, connotation, uh, a lot of spiritual ceremonies are held here even to this day. Many, many moons ago, the Creator looked down upon the Poconoke people and saw us with our hands raised up above. And He said that we were a good people. And so He sent three messengers to our people bearing gifts to give to our people. They told us to take these gifts and to plant them and they would multiply and to share them. So we did that and they multiplied and we shared them. And when it was time for the three messengers to go, there were some of our people who still did not believe that they were sent by the Creator. So they asked, they asked for a sign. And so the three messengers came down by the shore and before they left, they walked into the water and they turned and they waved to our people and they turned to stone. And they are still here today on the shores of Potomtuck. The three messengers, corn, beans, and squash, the gifts that they bore the three sisters. It is here in the town of Bristol that the Poconocets were forced to give up their home when the land was taken by English colonists near the end of the 17th century. It was the place from which Metacomet led his warriors in a great war and the place where he was slain in August 1676, effectively ending the King Philip War. Remnants of today's Poconoka tribe have returned to the area and some live in Bristol near Mount Hope as well as in other nearby towns. The tribe has been welcomed by the owners of Mount Hope Farm, a 150-acre wonderland of farm fields and forests and beautiful stretches along Mount Hope Bay. Fortunately, neither the farm nor the adjacent land of Metacomet have ever been developed and remain largely undisturbed over the 350 years since the colonists seized the land. In 1954, the family of Rudolf Heffenreffer, a wealthy German businessman who maintained an extensive collection of native artifacts in his museum on the property, donated 350 acres around Mount Hope Farm to Brown University. Here sits the sacred seat of the Massasoit, an enormous quartz outcropping rising 250 feet over Mount Hope Bay. While still owned and controlled by the university, 
members of the Poconoka tribe still gather here and visit the farm for important ceremonies and an annual Strawberry Thanksgiving gathering. Soames, the original name of the Massasoitosa Mequins home, is now being recognized through a National Heritage Area project designed to encourage preservation of the land and to introduce the people who first ensured the colonists' survival. It can be argued that Soames is the pivotal place of cultural exchange between indigenous people and colonizing settlers in North America. Few people realize that there was a peace treaty between the Poconoke tribe and the Puritans established around March 21, 1621, which lasted over 50 years. One idea to consider is the establishment of a Soames National Heritage District, which could provide a framework for an appreciation of Soames and the role of the Poconoke in the heritage of our country. A Soames District could provide an encompassing approach featuring the essential cultural, natural, scenic, historic, and recreational open spaces of Soames in a way that celebrates this layered history for residents and draws new visitors. The project has already begun to place interpretive signage throughout Soames, like this marker that describes the burial site of the Massasoit Osamequin at Burrs Hill in Warren. Mount Hope Farm has commissioned the design and manufacture of another historic marker that will soon be placed at the farm, so that the hundreds of people who visit each week will recognize its origins among the first people of Bristol. Due to be installed in a matter of weeks, this marker will detail the history of the land and the Poconoke people and describe the importance of the sacred lands nearby. We hope that when you visit Mount Hope Farm, you'll pause to read the marker and realize that beneath the colonial roads and buildings, you will find the beauty and the peace that the Poconokets have always found and appreciated here at Patumtuk.